Well, hello everyone. Welcome to PBL week six. Let's get started. So this week we are going to continue our journey to the moon. And we are looking at actually doing two scenes today because they're really closely related. We're going to travel to the moon and then we're going to land on the moon. So traveling to the moon is going to be making our rocket fly from the earth over to the moon. Maybe we'll have it go around once and then the landing part is we're just going to have it turn and land on the moon, much like we have it <clears throat> doing the landing uh, or the taking off from the earth. So we're going to reuse a lot of our code that we did already. So this should not be all that difficult. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to introduce you some, to something. I've decided that with all this video content that we're doing, I'm going to uh, rebrand our video into something a little bit cooler. So let me share this with you. So welcome to Code Station 33. So let's get into looking at Scratch and seeing what we can do with our code to get our moon landing to happen. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to our rocket orbiting the Earth project. And if you remember, it looked like this. We could see we had the Earth spinning if you did that part and we had the rocket going around the Earth. So I'm going to reuse some of this so we don't have to double the work. But the first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this because I don't want to change what I already have. So I'm going to go to File, Save as a Copy. And now you see it added the word Rocket Orbit Copy. Please make sure you click the Share button so the project is shared. But what we're going to do now is we're going to change this from rocket orbit copy to rocket land on moon. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a moon and I'm going to give this to you inside of Google. So you guys will be able to download this and put it into your own project. And I have it saved right here. And you'll see that it has this black background, but we know how to remove that. So I'm going to go in and remove that black background. So I'm going to go into costume. And then I'm going to click on the fill and click on the little red line. And then I'm going to click on the fill bucket and I'm just going to click and get rid of the black background. I'm going to go through and do that with each one of these. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just getting rid of the most of the black because it is still on a space background, so it won't show up all that much. So I'm going to go through and do the rest of these. Uh, this is something that you'll have to go through. And there's, there is a whole bunch of them. Um, actually, I won't give you as many. We'll give something smaller. But if you want to do them all, you can do them all. If you don't, you can do some of them and delete the rest. So the way you would delete them is you would go to the ones you want to delete and just click the trash can and delete some of them because we don't need them all. I'm going to delete a whole bunch of them. So you go through and you just delete a whole bunch of them. There we go. So I kept about 20 of them. That should be fine for our purposes. And you don't have to make it spin, but I kept the 20 so I could make it spin. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to position this and we're going to mess with the size a little bit. So first, um, we're going to start by making the Earth bigger and the moon smaller. And that's going to give us an idea of perspective, like we're flying towards the moon. So I'm going to change the size of the moon and let's make it 20. And you can see it's going to be like really far away. Then we're going to go into our code for our Earth. And you see this spinning code that we had used? that it switches from costume to costume that we had done before. I'm going to copy that exact code onto the moon. And now the moon should spin as well. 
And you can see the moon is spinning as well. You might say, wait a minute, Mr. McLaughlin, the moon and the earth are spinning at the same speed. Yes, they do, which is why we only see one face of the moon. Remember we talked about that, that um, the, 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 because they're all spinning at the same rate, that the one face of the moon is always showing up with the earth. So let's now talk about how we're going to get our rocket to stop spinning around the earth and then fly over to the moon and then spin around the moon, right? So we're gonna look at our rocket code and we can see that forever we have it turning two degrees. Now remember, we moved our earth so it was not quite on center. So our rocket will go around our earth. If we look at our costume here, we can look at our rocket. You can see here's the center of the rocket. We're gonna do the same thing. It's not gonna change much. We're still just gonna have it turn. So instead of having it turn forever, let's change this loop in here. We're gonna keep the same code and we're gonna have it loop, let's say 10 times. Maybe not 10 times, how about three times? So we'll hit the green flag and see it do that. Oh, I put the code on the wrong spot. Let me do that again. This was supposed to stay forever. It's the rocket that I want to have the loop. Just repeat a certain number of times. So let's say we'll start with 10 times and see if that gets us all the way around. We may have to make it a little bit more. Up oh, didn't get us very far. Let's do 100 times. There we go. So then it kind of goes around the earth a little bit. Now, the next thing we're going to do for our rocket is get it to point at the moon. So that way it can fly towards the moon. Now, we want to make sure that no matter where it stops in the cycle, it's going to end up pointing at the moon. You can see it ends up pointing right at the moon. Now we're going to fly it just a little bit towards the moon. So what I added in there is a glide and I'm only changing the X value. I want the Y value to be the same. So at the beginning here, we have a go to 101 and a Y of 13. Now this is the position of our rocket starting, which happens to be the center of the earth. So we wanna make sure that that number gets our rocket to position in the start in the right spot. So if you have to change that number, you do. Then we're gonna have it repeat it and go through our turn two degrees. And we're gonna have it point in a direction of zero. And then we're gonna have a glide just in the X direction, 25 um, to 25 spaces. So 101 to 25, and that's gonna get it to slide across. The next thing we're gonna do is broadcast an event. And the event we're gonna broadcast is change size. So we're gonna change the size of the earth and the moon. So we're gonna broadcast that. When I'm gonna to go to the moon, I'm gonna say when I receive change size um, on the moon, I'm gonna make the moon get bigger. So I'm gonna to go to looks, change size, set size to, uh, I don't know if we want 100%, but maybe we'll try 60%. And then the earth, when it receives change size, we're gonna change its size to 20%. But that's gonna happen really, really fast. What we actually want to happen is to kind of happen slowly. So to make that work, we're gonna to have to do a loop. So we're gonna to go to events and our control, and we're gonna repeat this, and we'll start with repeat 10 times. We're gonna to go to looks, and we're going to 
change size by 10. So we want the Earth to get smaller. So we're going to do a negative 10. And our moon, again, instead of setting the size, we want to do a loop. We're going to go to looks. And we're going to change our size by 10. So the moon will get 10 times bigger. The Earth should get 10 times smaller. Let's see how that looks. And we're going to change some of our numbers. Hit the green flag. Go around. Poof. And it looks like, well, maybe it looks like we crashed into the moon. So maybe we don't want to do that much. So let's change it so it doesn't crash into the moon. Let's change it and make the size a little bit smaller. So let me maybe only do it uh, eight times. Oh, we got to reset the size back. Otherwise, everything gets bigger and bigger. So we're going to go to our green flag and make sure when we hit our green flag, we're going to set the size of the moon to, let's say, uh, make it small, 20%. There it is. And we got to go back and fix our Earth. So let's set the size to, I think it was 50%. Let's just check that. Yeah, I think that was right. There we go. And look, it looks like it has got to the moon and now is in orbit of the moon. So that was the first part of the project. The last part of the project is pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is move our rocket again and have it land on the moon. So we're just gonna move its, uh, it forward a little bit. So we're gonna go to glide. And again, we're only gonna change the X value and we're gonna just change it by a little bit. And we're getting to the left, so we have to count down. So let's change it to five. And then maybe we'll make the Y a little bit smaller so it lands a little bit more on the moon and we'll change this to a five as well. Let's see what that looks like. And we do want it to be in front. So the way we make it in front is we just have to click the rocket and move it a little bit. Once we do that, it stays in front. So we can try that again. And it looks like our rocket has landed. If we want to move it a little bit further, we might have to go to a negative value. And we can play with these numbers until we get something that looks good. I'm going to play with them for a minute or two. There we go. I think I found a good set of numbers here. Let's see the whole thing in action. And there we go. Our rocket has landed on our moon. So... The next step, our next project, will be to start recording all of this together into one video. We're going to look at um, a screen recording software to do that. That's it for me. I'll see you next time.